Once you've established your energizer is working correctly, the second step in the fault finding process is to ensure your earth or ground system is working correctly. In this short video, we'll take you through a number of steps to establish whether there are problems with your ground or earth system. Many problematic electric fence systems can be attributed to an ineffective earth system. This is particularly prevalent in drier or sandy areas. In these situations, Gallagher recommends you should install a super earth kit as part of your electric fence system. To check for a faulty earth, ensure your energizer is connected to your fence and to the earth system and power source is on. Simulate a large fault on the fence. This can be done by placing a steel rod against the fence and contacting a well-earthed object, such as one or more steel posts driven into the ground. Put the earth probe on your fault finder into the ground and touch the voltage probe onto the earth or ground stake. Check the measurement on your fault finder. If the reading is below 0.3 kilovolts, then the earth is working with the current load on the fence. If the reading is greater than 0.3 kilovolts, then there is a problem with the earth. To rectify the earth fault, you'll need to improve the quality of your earth. This can be done by firstly fixing any joint or cabling issues. If that does not resolve the problem, then you can put the earth or ground stakes into more conductive soils or add more earth or ground stakes. If you're still having trouble establishing an effective earth, then Gallagher recommends you consider using super earth kits. If your earth or ground system is working effectively, then you'll need to move to the last part of the fault finding process to establish the problem in your electric fence system. This is fault finding on your fence line. For help with this, check out our video on fault finding in your fence line. 